Throughout the history of gaming, there have been many names synonymous with whatever game they are a master of. In the Minecraft community, despite the overwhelming negativity that surrounds said community, there is an equal amount of positivity in it. One such catalyst who brings a beacon of light into a field of darkness is Phil Watson, otherwise known as Philza. In this video, I want to go into why Phil is arguably the greatest Minecraft player in the game's history, how I found out about Philza, and just the general history of his channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will scream into the woods as a chart flashes on screen saying why you should subscribe. Screw you, watch the video. Also, since YouTube algorithm go burr, consider leaving a like and a comment to help boost this video into the algorithm because this video is something that I genuinely want to see go viral. That way people can see how the Minecraft community isn't all bad. With that, if we're going to talk about the bravest man I've ever known, we must go from the beginning. And I mean the very beginning. Before I go into the legend of the great Philza Minecraft, I need to preface by saying that I am not a stan or an overly obsessed fan of any YouTuber. I just relate to the down-to-earth tone that Phil brings to YouTube and Twitch. With that, this isn't going to be a biography of Phil Watson's entire life. I'm only going to be talking about his long, and I mean long, career on YouTube, and how I stumbled upon him on Twitch.tv. For those of you wondering how I know Phil's last name is Watson, it's because he's appeared on news shows for the BBC and whatnot, and they uploaded it on YouTube, so, yeah. Anyway, Phil created his YouTube account in September 14th of 2006. His first video wouldn't be public until December 9th of 2006. Despite being one of the greatest Minecraft players of all time, he actually didn't start out playing Minecraft. It, you know, probably had something to do with the fact that Minecraft wouldn't be out until 2009, but, you know, that that's just a hunch. Maybe, you know, yeah. Anyway... Phil started on YouTube by uploading Halo montages, Skate 3 walkthroughs, and GTA 4 Let's Plays. Watching this side of Phil gives me a sort of nostalgia for the mature gaming scene of the late 2000s and early 2010s. I grew up watching videos from people like The Gaming Lemon and seeing GTA 4 content again after like 5 or 6 years since the last time I saw some really reached back into the corner of my mind. There isn't anything remarkable about Phil's first videos, but it was a growing process for him. It was so he could figure out what stuck. Jacksepticeye once said that every YouTuber had that, this is going to be big moment. Maybe I'm overanalyzing here, but I think that's what Phil was doing with his early videos. And oh boy does it show. But that's not why you're here. Nobody really cares about Skate 3 or GTA 4. Can't really say the same about Halo 2 because people still play that game. But while we're in the early stages of Philza Minecraft's epic career, let's take a look at something that would be the start of something legendary.
After many years drifting through the online cosmos, adrift in the vast space of nothingness that is the mundane activity of gaming content creation, on February the 14th of 2012, Filza would start his Minecraft Hardcore series. Despite being the first Hardcore series, it wasn't his first attempt at Hardcore Minecraft. His first attempt at Hardcore Minecraft went horribly, horribly wrong. So to erase that from his memory and our memories, this became the official Hardcore series season 1. What's notable about this series is the fact that he didn't livestream this series on Twitch or Justin.tv. Was Justin.tv a thing in 2012? I don't know. I started watching Twitch in like 2018, 2019. Anyway, so this was a strictly pre-recorded Let's Play series that Phil did on his YouTube channel. The series ended on April 11, 2012, lasting two months due to Phil reaching the end and killing the Ender Dragon, and thus killing the series and ending the Let's Play. However, after taking a much needed break from the Hardcore series due to stress, he came back and revamped Hardcore Series Season 1 for a second plot. All was good, all was wholesome, calm, and bright until a fatal hard drive crash on April 30th, 2013. The series was gone. Phil had suffered a power outage which crashed his computer and deleted the Season 1 Hardcore World after a year and two months of play. F's in the chat, boys. But alas, everything would come through fruition as Phil moved on to what was arguably the prime of his career. On March 31st, 2014, this would be the start of the prime of Phil's career. Phil would start the longest Minecraft survival series in the game's history that would only be rivaled by Stampy Longhead's Lovely World. During this time, Phil would start using Twitch.tv more than YouTube as his concurrent audience count started to go up into the hundreds. Despite this series, Phil became a lot more open with his audience and was vocal about his personal life. On top of running a content creation operation, he was simultaneously working a retail job in order to get enough money to live on his own. On top of that, this is around the time that he met arguably the most beautiful woman in the world, Kristen. I swear I'm not a simp. Please, please don't ban me. Please, Phil. I'm a huge fan. Please, please, please. Phil is British and Kristen is American, which made their relationship a bit awkward considering the only way they could interact with each other was through the internet. Nevertheless, Phil was able to save up enough money to fly over to America, marry Kristen, and then bring her to his home in England. From this day forward, they would be forever known by Twitch chat as Dadza and Mumza, respectfully. So, I was going to mention this in the later part of the video. This has nothing to do with Phil and Kristen, but I just thought it was funny, and plus I need some filler. So, I just, I, I have to talk about this. Am I the only one who thought that Phil's skin in, in Minecraft was that of a train conductor before I realized it was an anime character? I just thought it was hysterical for some reason. Anyway, um, yeah, so moving on from Kristen and Phil's relationship, uh, apparently Phil's Minecraft skin is literally just Kisuke Uehara from Bleach, which is a an it's a anime, yeah. You learn something new every day, ladies and gentlemen. Well, at least now when someone makes fan art, of Phil they won't be called a Minecraft stan and they'll just be referred to as a filthy weeb L. So anyway moving on from that segue Phil's series would last for five years until in April 30th of 2019 the worst thing would happen. Roll the footage. <laughs> I knew it. No! Really? That's how- 
I'm gonna die! Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Although an unfortunate end to a legendary run, this is how many would come to know the great Fils of Minecraft. Around 2019, I had just graduated high school and was working to save up enough money for college. During this time, Minecraft was starting to make a revival. At this point, I started watching a certain English major in the Minecraft community who only uploads once every other full moon. Please, Techno, come back to us. Please, please, Techno, we're sorry for content. Please. Hey guys, Future Jesse here. I just wanted to make this video, uh, or this part of this little thing uh, that's going in the video uh, as a correction. So I made this video, or started working on this video, and I wrote the script, did the voiceover, and then did the background footage over a series of day, b days, but the script and the voiceover for the script were both one day each so you know at the time that I was doing writing the script and doing the voiceover for the script techno had taken like two months off from uh, uh, YouTube uh, but he returned and I found out as well as a lot of other people found out that the reason why he was taking a hiatus is because he was suffering from cancer so uh, yeah kind of a kind of a a a a a monka L moment, a a a a, a not pog champ moment, so or or komodo hype or whatever. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so I just want to apologize for like making light of Technoblade and yeah, just a bit of insight from future Jesse here. Okay, back to the video. Bye. Technoblade has a huge part in popularizing Minecraft content due to how cracked he was at the game. Whenever he played in Minecraft Monday, everyone would always try to target him, but it never mattered. He would constantly get top 3 individually in every tournament. During one of the later Minecraft Monday events, however, he teamed with the great Filza. This was the first impression I had of Phil. And oh boy was it a good one. Phil ended up taking second overall right behind Techno who took first and the two of them were a thousand points ahead of second place. This is when I discovered Philza, but I wasn't in the community yet. During this time Phil was working in season 4 of his hardcore series. I believe he was either just starting or in the middle of Nether Void. But I didn't start watching Phil until the start of his most recent project, which was Flowerfall, that he started in April of uh, this year. And is now close to being finished. Although Minecraft Monday was an atrocity, everyone knew that something would come along to take its place. I don't think that people realized that the things that were happening and were going to replace Minecraft Monday were going to be as big, if not bigger, than Minecraft Monday. This would be the start of an era of content in Minecraft history that rivals that of Team Crafted, the Gaming Lemon, Stampy Longhead, and all the OGs of Minecraft. This was the prime of Minecraft content, all thanks to a select few. On November 22, 2019, a server was started as a means to fill the gap that SMP Live and Minecraft Monday had left. In a way, this was the precursor to Dream SMP. It was a Minecraft world that was a 1 out of 1000 scale of the Earth. Of course, I was watching Technoblade again when this wonderful friend showed up again. Phil, there is a person like 20 blocks away from us. Is he not ours? No, I don't know who this is. After murdering some dude who was following them for a while, this became the start of a beautiful friendship. And the start 
of the content creator group Sleepy Boys Incorporated, which consisted of Technoblade, Filza, Wilbur Soot, and Tommy in it. After the downfall of SMP Earth due to an IP address leak, a new server would start. This server was the Dream SMP. I'm not going to get into Dream SMP lore because that is a long, long story. But all you need to know is Phil joined the server on November the 16th of 2020 and would roleplay on the server with the likes of Tubbo, Ramboo, Wilbur Soot, Tommy Innit, and Technoblade, and many more. This is around the time that he started to get the nickname officially of Dadzo, which was due to the overwhelming father-like presence that he had on the server. Other than other servers that he played on, I would be reminisced if I failed to mention his partake in a in a in a in a in a in a certain tournament that would replace Minecraft Monday. This tournament was Minecraft Championships, where despite the incredible level of incompetence by the organizers, Noxide and Scott Major. <laughs> Some of the best Minecrafters would come to compete in 10 teams of 4 to determine who the best Minecraft players are. As far as I remember, the only time Phil won was when he was teamed with Will, Tommy, and Techno. Other than that, I think he's consistently gotten into the top 10 individually. But enough about Phil as a content creator. I think it's time to get a little bit more personal. Phil Watson is someone who I wish to strive like in my life, and I want to have a community like he does of people who just love each other, protect each other, and care about one another. As Filza says, he's just playing the block game, but I don't think that's why he has the community that he has. No, it's something else. He has an ability to talk and create the presence of that old friend you meet after work or school and get to have time to relax with. Another reason why I think Phil sets the standard of Twitch streaming and YouTube content creation is because of the standard of how open and loving and accepting he is of the LGBT community. He has zero tolerance for hate or frankly weird people in his community. And if someone is being an annoyance, he will give them the belt. Beltza. I think Twitch and YouTube would be a better place for content creators if more people were open about who they were and the things they're interested in. For God's sakes, he literally married a woman who lives across the freaking globe. Now that is true love and passion right there. On top of being the bravest man I've ever known and being an open LGBT ally, Phil is also an avid banger enthusiast like myself. I love music as most normal functioning people should. I use music to work out and to study to when reading up on history. With that, pretty much all of my workout music is stuff that I hear from Phil's stream. The title of this video is literally called On the Edge of the World, which is a reference to the post-starting stream song that he does when he shows up at the beginning of his broadcasts. So, with all the positive things that I've said up to this point about Phil and Philza, that begs a question. Where do we go from here? Out of the plethora of communities on the internet, despite Minecraft Twitter being a toxic hive of scum and villainy, Minecraft of Twitch and YouTube are places where I have felt welcomed. I haven't felt this welcomed into a community since I entered the Jacksepticeye fandom in 2014 or the Star Wars fandom back in like 2010, 2009. I'd like to think the future of Phil's content will get better. It will improve greater than what it already is. I have a feeling that he will meet newer people who he'll take under his wings and show them the ropes. I can only hope that nothing bad happens. I don't know if Phil's going to see this, but 
from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the entire Minecraft community, thank you. Thank you for making a space where we can come to decompress. Thank you for giving us memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you for allowing us to meet each other and bond over the same interests. You truly are a wonderful person, Phil. And I strive to be like you every day. I started following you when, I, when you were working on the Season 4 Flower Fall project. When you joined the Dream SMP. When you supported Kristen through hard times when she had to go back to America. Or come back to America. Because I'm American. But I was there. We were there. And although you may just be a content creator who is quite old, to quote Johnny Cash, you were a beacon of light in a field of darkness. I have a small community on this channel of mine. I'm merely someone with too much free time and not enough to do. I don't do this because I'm paid to. I do this because I want to. I want to make content that I want to watch. And I want to explore topics that not many people want to delve into out of the fear of being ostracized or cancelled. I want a community of people who will love and respect themselves and others. What is a content creator? What is a celebrity without their fan base, without their audience? They are nothing. They are a shell of someone who they are not trying to imitate those who are greater than him, her, or them. So as I go on this journey, I hope that you will stay with me. If you're new, maybe you could join in. Maybe subscribe or leave a little comment. After all, why not live a little on the edge of the world? I think I've done the job. <clears throat> We've kept a lot of law locations uh, specific. There's the, the basement of my house where I got saved by Techno. The remnants of my house, remnants of Lemanberg's kind of like uh, city center in a sense. Uh, Gosper's crane, uh, which is also here as well. So like that's the crane that was going off of it. But obviously his crane li linked to the sewers. Um, then we have, I didn't show you this yet actually chat, but there's Tobo's uh, panic room from when he was present, still here. I helped him build. It was never meant to be. Oh my god. You didn't. Oh my god! Do you see yourself as a hero? Sending a message from sending a message. Yeah. Not to not to start another government. Not to take genuinely nice, wholehearted people and turn them against each other with power and corruption. That's why, Will. I don't want to see it happen gone now. Again. Yep, it's gone. Well, I guess they finished doing their recording chat. Because, uh, My his eyes gone. Will always belong to you, dancer. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for Stop the Stop saying Sanders okay to eat, please. It's fine to eat. It's literally, I'll Google it. I've never had to Google it because it's just so intrinsic in my knowledge that it is okay to eat. Oh, goodness, I didn't realize this was an actual question. Oh, they're obviously just so shocked that anyone would wonder because it's so obviously it's okay. She is just a turf, so she's against trans women. She doesn't see them as women and that they are a danger. Stop. It's not. Whoa, that went up. That went, went. No, I haven't played it since last time. And of course. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. oh, bother. Oh, I'm really good at the rocket jump. Me and so Fast! Oh. oh. No, there is not. Skeppy's out of there. All right, let's go up here and enchant. Okay. I don't know who to go for. There's no one immediately available. I think there's going to be a chest. He's killing to us. He is? Why? He's dead. He's just donating a free kill. Woo! Nice. Thank you. Oh, nice. 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 Nice.
Nice. Oh, cleaning. Oh, cleaning. Oh, cleaning. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, Josiah, you Josiah, you got this, you two. I don't have a chance. Behind you, Calvin. He's helping me. You gotta get it built. Oh, I got five oh, kills. I got stuck in the cobweb.